Malfurion Stormrage, first of the Druids, Lord of the Night Elves, Keeper of the Grove. Here are 10 facts you didn't know about him. Number 10. Malfurion is the wise and stalwart leader of the Night Elf Druids. He has a fatherly air about him and takes great pleasure in guiding people to discover insights about themselves and the environment around them. He prefers not to solve problems directly for individuals or to give completely thorough answers, but rather provide useful hints and advice so that others may achieve discovery on their own. Number 9. Even though peaceful and reasonable in his day-to-day -day life, Malfurion considers High Elves and Goblins extremely distasteful and will expel them from Ashenvale whenever he encounters them. Horde and Alliance politics hold little interest for Malfurion as in his mind the needs of his people and their environment transcend what he considers to be petty rivalries between the other races. However, visitors who display a proper respect for the natural environment and its inhabitants will be greeted warmly by Malfurion and his druids. They welcome outsiders for short periods of time with offers of shelter and sustenance. Number 8. Malfurion is over 15,000 years old and has participated in the so-called Sundering. When the continent got shattered, he fought versus the Burning Legion many times before and witnessed both the destruction of the first world tree, Nordrasil, and the creation of the second one called Teldrassil. Number 7. In combat, Malfurion calls on nature to aid him in battle. He relies on summoned creatures, trends, dryads, night elf warriors, and other allies. He supports them with spells and acts as their general. If Malfurion is encountered alone, he usually uses his spells and abilities to escape into the forest and return later with help, which relates to his hearthstone powers and abilities of his cards. Number 6. Malfurion generally looks like a normal male night elf with the exception of a pair of antlers growing from his head. Unlike most other night elves with antlers, a sign of great druidic potential, he grew them later in life, while other druids such as Brawl Bermantle had them at birth. The other thing that differentiates him from the regular night elf is the set of wings growing out of his arms. During Children's Week he explains to the younglings, my spirit spent many years in the Emerald Dream while my body slept and it started to take on attributes of our animal forms. Number 5. Malfurion was the favorite disciple of the demigod Cenarius. He was the most talented and dedicated, loving nature and willing to do anything to preserve it. Under the care of Cenarius, Malfurion exceeded expectations, becoming the first druid of the Night of People, later on called the Arch Druid. Cenarius even forgave Malfurion for that one time when the young druid discovered his wolf form and not coping well with its ferocity, bit the demigod. Number 4. Apparently Malfurion still has no idea why Tyrande chose him over Illidan. Before they became a couple, he had even thought that she had already chosen his brother. The Nightles being a very official and reserved folk, familiarities are few and far between, even amongst childhood friends. During the battle for the Well of Eternity, Tyrande first started calling Malfurion Mal, which went over his head at the time, but was a huge indication that she started liking him way back then. Number 3. Malfurion and Illidan are not only brothers, they are twin brothers. It is said that the Night of Twins are extremely rare and share a close, emotional and rumored to be magical bond. That would explain why Malfurion is so highly affected by Illidan and his actions. Number 2. When Malfurion finally married Tyrande, after what seems like dozens of years of adventures, the Alliance and Horde have put their differences aside for a short while. The newlywed couple received blessings from Isera and Alexstrasza, well wishes from the leaders of the Alliance and even Thrall of the Horde. Their ceremony was held in the capital city of the Night Elves, Bernassus. Number 1. Chris Madsen, senior VP of Story and Franchise Development at Blizzard Entertainment, commented that Malfurion Stormrage is his personal favorite character in the Warcraft lore. And that's Malfurion, guys. As you can see, he's not only broke back, he's actually a cool guy, and uh, we wanted to show you top 10 facts, like really lighthearted 
uh, cool facts about Mafuri instead of telling the story of War of Eternity and Warcraft 3. If you're interested, definitely check out the novels and check out the game. There's a lot of lore about Mafuri and Warcraft 3, the game. Just, just play it and, and have fun. And obviously in World of Warcraft as usual. But in Hearthstone itself, well, we want to focus on the hero characters. So we start with Malfurion and now, and uh, next, I don't know, you tell me, who do you want me to feature? Valira, Gul'dan, maybe the mage characters like Jaina or, or Khadgar or Medivh. You can influence my choice. So let me know in the comments, let me know on Twitter and Facebook, and tell me who your favorite hero is from Hearthstone, and, um, well, you want to learn more about that specific hero. And if you missed the previous videos, you can check them in the cards, in the lists as well and if you like the video please subscribe give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you enjoy the work or do you want me to change anything in the video specifically and uh, that will be it for today so thanks so much for watching and see you guys next week this is Nimsh signing off